Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, I am going to explain how you can construct an easy, ridiculously easy website metrics dashboard using simple Excel features. Uh, in case you don't have a time or you just want a ready to use template, just check out the video description and download a free website metrics dashboard template uh, so that you can get started on your projects. Uh, but uh, let's get into an Excel file here that I have prepared uh, that shows the dashboard and uh, I will show you how to construct something like this in um, not more than 15 minutes. Uh, so this is the dashboard. It shows uh, uh, 15 metrics for website related projects or uh, website uh, companies. Uh, and uh, how they have performed in the current week, in the previous week, what is the percentage change, trend, and in case you would like to make some comments, uh, those comments will be listed. This dashboard also shows the summary statistics of the top. These are five of those 15 metrics that are considered really important and they are shown up front. So this is kind of highlights and this is the detail. Um, and as I said, the, the purpose of this dashboard is to just showcase the uh, performance or how things are going for a website and uh, stay on top, but at the same time, not to waste a tremendous amount of time building it. So this actually uses some of the simpler ideas in Excel, but still provides a valuable, insightful and uh, correct uh, representation of data. So let's go into the input data worksheet. Uh, the assumption here is that you you will have 15 KPIs or 15 metrics each listed one per row and data available for two periods. I'm saying two periods here. Uh, we are using week concept, but you could potentially have this uh, done for two months or two fortnights or two quarters or two years with maybe uh, 12 months per year uh, represented. But usually, you know, websites and e-commerce companies, they are quite dynamic. So keeping track on a weekly or fortnightly basis is more norm. So we have uh, some of these dates and depending on what kind of systems you're using to keep track of things, you may have to get this data from multiple places. For example, uh, information about sessions and visitors might come from your Google Analytics or uh, any other website tracking software. Whereas number of video views or social engagement might come from uh, different channels like from your YouTube channel or your Instagram and Facebook analytics pages, etc. So this is meant to be a data collection place where every day or every week you would come in and update the information. Um, and uh, some of the other things like revenues and transactions might come from your e-commerce software like it could be PayPal or uh, Shopify or whatever may be the case. And uh, once we have such information, you would just list the KPIs and you would say what the values are per day uh, for the two week window. So I'm assuming it's just a two week window. Uh, there are some two extra columns of in additional inputs. Uh, the first column tells me, tells this dashboard whether you want to consider one of these values as important and hence show up on the top. So you just need to specify one, two, three, four, five values whatever is one will be the very first tile in the dashboard. So here it's saying revenue is one. For example, let's say we don't want to track visitors. We would like to track maybe number of video views. So I will change this to, uh, let's keep it to visitors. So you could see that this tile is actually visitors. And if I go and change this to my video views, the dashboard will show me the trend of video views uh, as well. So uh, it's quite dynamic in that sense, but at the same time, it is fairly simplistic. So once you have that, and then the second column is to tell me, tell the dashboard how the summarization should happen. This is because of certain things like sessions, you can add up for the seven days to come up with the total sessions. But uh, for example, time on page, um, it's not a good idea to add up all the individual times for seven days to come up with what is the time on page at a weekly level. So this is why I put average. This is not even technically correct because you are averaging averages, but uh, you know it's better than nothing. Um, uh, you can alternatively come up with uh, different data representations and leave everything to total as well. So that's uh, uh, that second column. So once this is done, the dashboard is just built here. Uh, there are two parts to the dashboard. The top part is all done through the tiles worksheet and the bottom part is all done 
directly here so i will first construct the bottom half of this dashboard uh, in a blank worksheet so you can kind of get an idea of how to build that particular view that you are seeing on the screen um, so we will just uh, this is a reconstruction um, for detail section and uh, we will simply say kpi um, and then um, as you could see here this week last week so this week last week and uh, delta uh, we'll leave that column blank trend and comments so that's the detail section uh, and all we have to do is just say equal to get the kpi name from the original kpi thing uh, and then this week would be the total value for the current week um, i'll make this column slightly bigger and these two slightly wider so because uh, you know if it is just everything is total we could use the sum function but there is actually a little bit of uh, um, total versus average thing going on here so we could use um, a subtotal function which can do both totals and averages the subtotal function accepts a number one means average and uh, nine means sum so inside subtotal i'll say if um, if the corresponding kpis type is equal to uh, total then I want to do 9 else I want to do the operation 1 and the range for which we will do the operation is these 7 cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we will close the bracket so we'll get the this week's value we can just uh, copy this entire formula paste it here and uh, just change that reference to the first 7 cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and that will give me another number and in terms of delta this is going to be this week divided by last week minus one that will give me percentage change on week on week basis we can immediately format that here uh, in percentage terms now remember in the dashboard we want to see an icon a green icon for upwards change and red icon for downwards change and then see the percentage information there um, so to do that uh, what we will do is we will first uh, fill it down for all the 15 kpis i believe that's the 15th kpi conversion percentage and we will get these things we do need to do formatting at individual level like each uh, cell needs to be formatted depending on what the right format is and this is something that is a one-time activity so i'll just uh, copy paste the formatting from here uh, paste special um and then we will just uh, inherit the formats um we will use format painter and do the same here as well so that uh, there's no time wasted and in terms of this we will just go and apply a an icon set and then we will just quickly go to the manage rules double click first up we just want to show the icon and then change the type of icon from this ridiculous setup here to a number based rule and that simply says if green icon should be whenever the value is greater than zero that means the change is positive and red when the value is less than zero and and then give me that when you have just an icon you can also align it in the cell you can also reduce the font size to kind of in decrease the size of that uh, particular cell now these two are main numbers so we can just select all of these and reduce the font and uh, kind of dim it in terms of trend just select these 15 cells go to insert click on spark line and go to the data and uh, select the current week table just these seven columns we will instantly get the spark lines you can just do some uh, basic formatting on these spark lines uh, as well as apply a high point and a low point just to see which day has been better high point can be in in uh, dark green color so that you can distinguish and comments is a free text so you can just type whatever you want so this is how the detail section is constructed it is a fairly simple one there is only one extra bit missing which is having an alert icon so what i've done is i have applied conditional formatting here you just have to type one in a cell and then that will show a red color traffic light in the beginning indicating that that particular kpi needs some attention uh, when when you are presenting this report or when you are reviewing if you are building it for yourself you probably don't need that for the top part uh, the construction is done in a different manner 
first thing to do is we need to figure out which 5 kps should be shown on the dashboard so we will type 1 2 3 4 5 and use a simple match formula uh, against the data to find out which particular kpi is the number one tile number two tile like that so this will tell me that uh, uh, number 12 kpi is the very first style so for example revenue is that and if you can see count from there it is the 12th kpi so that will give you that information and then we will use some simple match and index formulas to fetch the uh, relevant details all the data from the original table once this data is there we will then calculate uh, these additional numbers the current week total last week total using the similar subtotal formula with if condition inside and a delta as well so once all of this is done we will construct the tiles here uh, in a blank space uh, using column width and uh, cell spacing and formatting etc etc so we'll just make the five tiles like this um, this is revenue tile uh, which will be just equal to uh, that cell uh, the value will be that one this is percentage change and an icon to say whether the change is positive or negative and a trend line to show that uh, this seven days data is is being used to plot the trend line with the best high point is in darker green color once we make that you just have to copy the tile Control c go to the dashboard i'll just show it here right click uh, it's probably easier if i just do it here all right uh, click paste special and then there is a linked picture option this is uh, this used to be called as camera um, tool or in earlier versions of excel but linked picture is the more standard name now and you'll get a nice little tile uh, the beauty of this is it's actually like an image so it's floating on top of things and you can just put it you can apply um, some nice little border around it if you prefer and you can also apply shadow effects and whatnot so that it looks a bit more classy so that's all i've done i've put uh, those five tiles there uh, and uh, you might be thinking you know why not do all the calculations here we could do that but the disadvantage is um, because these column widths need to be different to show ex different uh, type of information further down we would have to come up with some clever or crazy mechanism to have these equally spaced and sized on the top so to avoid all of that we normally use uh, picture links in dashboard uh, construction process uh, like this you just bake them and then you copy them this also gives you much more flexibility of you know changing the kpis on the fly and the way that you, that, that you want them to look and format and whatnot so that's it uh, there are some bells and whistles added on the dashboard like you know titles uh, for two sections and uh, some extra information saying week ending on 26 april 2020 uh, and some information icons uh, you know these are if you select them it will show what the kpi card really means uh, this is very useful when you are building this for a client or somebody and you want to you want them to click on them to know these things this is a very very interesting uh, trick uh, the way you can build this is you just have to select a cell wherever you want to show some information for example here and uh, the first thing is you want to insert a symbol that looks like this so i've used the webdings font and uh, that's the symbol uh, it's it's one of these symbols so we will insert that and so now that cell has that symbol the next step is um, select that cell and then go to data validation and uh, no need to set up any validation but you can give an input message so uh, here is some help about uh, this uh, data validation thingy and you just type title and thing and then when you click on that cell it will show a nice little pop-up around it that shows some information so this is how i have uh, done that um, i just uh, clear away these things and i'll put that uh, in few places to explain the dashboard so this is how this uh, you can construct a website kpi dashboard or website metrics dashboard you can use the same ideas to build a project kpi dashboard or uh, a process kpi dashboard or something anything for that matter uh, the concept is like this if you need uh, some extra inspiration just visit the link uh, in the video description and you will be able to download a copy of this file along with uh, some ex additional resources on excel dashboard building i hope you enjoyed this i'll talk to you again in the next video 
thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel in case you enjoyed this bye bye